Hello everyone, if you are watching this video, chances are that you are a machine learning engineer or a data scientist, or at least you have at some point uh, worked in the development of a machine learning model. And if that is indeed the case, you certainly know the struggles of every stage of its development until finally making it into production. You can easily get lost in several different machine learning frameworks and tons of different parameters and metrics especially when there are many people working on the same model. And all those struggles are precisely why MLflow was built and precisely why MLflow is gaining a lot of uh, attraction lately. So, in essence, MLflow is uh, an open source platform for the machine learning lifecycle and, as you can see, uh, is composed of four main modules that can be used independently of one another. We have MLflow tracking, projects, models and finally model registry. Uh, and the next videos of this MLflow series are an attempt of explaining these four concepts in a very practical way and in a close to real life scenario. For example, uh, in the next video I'll, I will show you how easy it is to, to start using uh, MLflow in your current model and to keep track of every parameter and metric. So make sure you don't miss it. But without further ado, and uh, in a nutshell, let's talk about these four modules. And let's start with MLflow tracking. As you already know, MLflow uh, tracking allows you to um, keep track of every parameter and metric of your model, but it allows you to do a lot more, like for instance, keep track of the machine learning framework that you uh, use to build your model, uh, all of your code uh, of your project and model, the model version and a lot of other things. So it's indeed a very useful and powerful uh, module of MLflow. Uh, and here you, you can see a screenshot of uh, the MLflow user interface. Uh, in this particular case, the user is trying to search for every run that has a, an R2 higher than 0.24. But this, this is only an example of uh, what you can do with the user interface of MLflow. But uh, the, tr the truth is that MLflow, the user interface of MLflow is very, very powerful. You can do a lot of things, um, as we will cover later uh, in this MLflow series. And MLflow tracking is essentially this. So let's move on to uh, to MLflow projects. So MLflow projects is also a very powerful tool of uh, MLflow and without going into details uh, its main function is to containerize or package uh, your your machine learning project and if you have worked with Docker before the concept is very simil similar. You are basically uh, encapsulating all the dependencies and all the code so it can be run in any machine and here you can see an example of how a MLflow project should look like. You essentially uh, need to have an ML project where you will define the entry points, the workflow and the path to the Conda environment and then you will need to have uh, a, con a Conda YML file where you will define uh, all the all the dependencies that you need and all the libraries that you need for your Conda environment. Um, so your ML flow project should essentially have. It's crucial to have these two files, and then you you need to to obvious, obviously have the files of your uh, the code of your model and project of of course. And uh, MLflow project is basically this. I will go in a lot more details uh, in part three of this MLflow series. So now let's move to, to MLflow models. And here the concept is very, very similar to MLflow uh, projects, but this time in this case you, you containerize or package a, a machine learning model. Uh, you can you can use any machine learning framework and after after you pack the package your code you will have basically two ways uh, of loading your model or two flavors as MLflow uh, calls it. Uh, basically you can load your model as a Python function as you can see here 
are using the, the flavor of the machine learning framework that you have decided to use, which in this case is TensorFlow. Um, and finally, let's move to, to the model registry, which is where you can actually deploy your model and do so in a very controlled environment. You can stage your model into staging or production. You can create REST APIs to serve the model and you can automate jobs. It is essentially a MLOps where you can have tools of continuous integration and continuous deployment. So ML, ML flow is essentially this, although it's much more than this. And in the next videos of this series, I will show you in a practical way how to actually start using it. So make sure you don't miss any of these videos. And thank you and I hope to see you in the next, in the next video.